Uh, welcome back to the combat only Let's Play of Shining Force. Sorry, this guy lady is in our way. Ah, okay, sorry, we still need to go talk to somebody. Uh, but yeah, I forgot, we're now in this town. And uh, we're going to we, we, we're going to the quarry, or we w or I would be going to the quarry, but that lady unfortunately is in the way. Yeah, and this is the town where we meet Zylo, or Zylo uh, joins the party eventually. Uh, he's currently poisoned, so we gotta get him uh, some um, some medicine. I forgot how to get rid of that lady who's blocking our way. There's somebody we need to go talk to. Uh, sorry, but yeah. Uh, in the meanwhile, I actually did get first of all uh, Luke and. Uh, uh, Luke and Gort have new axes, so we have that going for us, and we have a new party member, uh, we have Diane, uh, who's the female elf, uh, she, so we have now two archers, and yes, we finally got rid of Gong, Gong's no longer, Gong, Gong is gone. <laughs> Oh, sorry. No, no, no. That wasn't the quarry. Okay, I was going the wrong way. Okay, so these guys are talking about the laser eye, but I don't think the laser eye is in this battle yet. There's a, there's a, another thing that happens before then. Okay, so now we have uh, flying allies, like I said. Um, oh yeah, there was also the alchemist we had to go talk to. But uh, Eamon and Barbaroi are still like a little too low level to do anything useful here. Uh, oh, lizard men. Oh, shit. Yeah, those guys are tough. Uh, and we have a dark priest as well, but I can send them. But I can definitely send them after the. Who the hell is that guy? That guy who lo looks a bit like a skeleton. So here's Diane, and Diane also has the better, uh, has the good, um, the 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 good the good um, pff, bow. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, my. It's actually I think her weapon is called the steel arrow, and I got uh, one of the centaurs. I gave one of the centaurs. I gave uh, May a better lance. But I'm going to still feel it out, like, if, if, if that lands can't... Because when I equip it out in the map view, I don't... I can't see if it's, uh... What is a skeleton? Why does it look so weird? Or is it, like, facing away? Okay, I guess that's, that has to be it. Yeah, no, Ken definitely needs a better lance. Alright, but we don't know until uh, May shows up. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot that... <laughs> we had so many downed party members, like, I spent... Alright... May should have. I'm. I'm just gonna quickly check. Equip. Oh hell yes! This 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 fucking. Uh, yeah, this the, this lance is way better. Yeah, yeah, I definitely have to give all the centaurs this now. But can he still go wreck the uh, the the spellcaster? So that's okay. That's that's fine. We need to spread out the guys a little bit anyway because, um, especially once we do get to the spellcasters, because they they can wreck some shit. Oh, May spirit. Ooh, oh, good May. Finally, our guy, uh, finally one of our guys is too fast for the enemy, not vice versa. Yeah, uh, most of these guys aren't, like, too tough, but, uh, I do, but, you know, uh, okay, the Dark Priests can do, like, pretty nasty spells, and then the Lizard Men are pretty tough. So those are the guys we have to worry about. And Skeletons are, like, semi-tough, like, they have good defense, but then if you can, like, pile the, uh, the guys on top of them, you know, uh, attack them consistently like it's it's fine and actually yeah I, i'm gonna oh yeah may, may has so much spell power now like i can actually afford to do a few powerful bursts of it Henri is really the problem Henri henry has been taking so many hits uh okay we gotta get we, we're gonna get these dark elves oh now there's dark elves yeah i can't i know i know i kept calling the dark dwarves <laughs> dark elves in the previous uh, parts. Yeah, no, okay. Damn it. This is the thing I hate, though. They, they love to do this in the early part of the game. They just put you in these very tight spots where you have to spend a lot of time, like, maneuvering your guys around. Ooh, okay. I, uh, that was a bad move for me. Oh, missed. Good. Good. Alright. I, I can't, can't do anything useful, so I might as well just send him ahead. And Henri... Oh yeah, I forgot. Henri, like, it, she's weaker. She's the weaker spellcaster, but she actually has better range. So actually, let's let's try the freeze on the skeleton. Just I'm just curious to see what it does to them. Oh yeah, definitely. I gotta use that instead of the blaze. Definitely, that seems to be doing more damage. All right, let's see if Hans can hit a skeleton, and he can. Good. 
Yeah, also, I was in, so in the previous episode, I was actually talking about the protector, and I was talking about, like, how that movie was a bit of a disappointment. Uh, well, you know, I, I knew it was infamous, but I was actually, you know, I'm, I'm like that. When people shit talk about movies, a lot of times I feel that they are exaggerating uh, just how bad they are, because I'm, I'm, the, because I'm the kind of guy who usually finds something positive to say about even bad movies, and I will say, like, in that case of that movie, the fight scenes, both of them were actually, I think they were the best part of the movie. That's the, that was the real problem, yeah, I, I think I said that in the previous episode, that there were barely any fight scenes, so they were really, what they were doing in that movie, they were really trying to make Jackie into kind of like a dirty Harry character, and, I, and so I, that's what I've heard before, and now I actually saw what they, what they meant, because that the dialogue in that movie was... Honestly, it might be some of the worst. I mean, I know there's a lot of 80s movies that have something like that, but it's that fucking kind of action movie dialogue where literally every other word is fuck. And it did not sound natural at all, especially when it's Jackie. Like, Jackie swears very rarely. Like, I think the most Jackie swears in mo most movies, like, it's, it's like the Rush Hour films. And I think he did, they did that just to, you know, because it was such a contrast with, like, Chris Tucker. Uh, at first, like, Chris Tucker, like, speak, you know, is the foul-mouthed one. And then when Jackie finally gets snaps, that's when he gets, you know, Do you understand the words coming out of my mouth? Ain't nobody understand the words coming out of your mouth. <laughs> uh, no, I, okay, I, I don't want to, I don't want to... Oh, wait, I, I, I can afford to kill this one Dark Elf, but yeah, I'll let the bird people <laughs> finish up that. Right. That sounded vaguely racist, sorry. <laughs> the bird people. <laughs> uh, I'm sick of you, Kenji. You've been trying to kill us since the start of this damn movie. <laughs> Man, those Rush Hour... Yeah, I, I really need to get Rush Hour 3 one of these days. I gotta hunt down the DVD or something, because that's the only one I'm missing. But I actually think it's one of the better ones. Rush Hour 2 and 3, um are my favorites in that series. And I like Rush Hour 1, don't get me wrong, but Rush Hour 1 and, like, 2 and 3 are way better movies overall. Yeah. And it's a shame about, you know, the, you know, about Brett, uh, Brett Ratner. Um, I mean, it's a shame... It, what, what I don't mean is, like, you know, it's a shame that he turned out to be <laughs> a fucking sexual predator. Uh, so, th so that's why he's out of the movie business now. But yeah, no, no, of course, it's, you know, I don't feel any shame for, uh, or I don't feel like sorry for him. Uh, so that, that's the thing, but yeah, that's, eh, that's, uh, that's always the, that, that's always the part of the movie business or the entertainment business overall. Like, I don't get what it is about that business specifically that turns people into such creep shows. Anyway, so, uh, a protector, yeah, so the action scenes were just kind of, they were just kind of painful to watch. And don't get me wrong, like, so the fight scenes were actually shot very well, the two fight scenes that were in the film, but, uh, because when you be, the other, the, fir the first movie that Jackie did that was meant to, for him to, like, you know, make it big in America was Battle Creek Brawl. And that actually is a good movie. I really like that one. That's actually one of my favorite Jackie Chan movies. Uh, no joke, but... Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I don't want to leave myself open to those skeletons, but I think those mages are gonna fuck me up. So... Uh... And Battle Creek Brawl... And, yeah, Battle Creek Brawl... Like, that movie has... You know... Uh, the fight scenes in that movie... You can definitely tell that they're that it's not a that like that it's not a Hong Kong movie. Like, uh, you know, the timing of them, and you know, it's it's very obvious that Jackie that they didn't rehearse them as much as uh, you know the fight scenes in, in in Jackie's like Hong Kong movies. But it's not like the fight scenes were bad. Don't get me wrong. I don't think the I do not think the fight scenes were at all bad. And the thing about, but the thing, the big difference between that movie, Battle Creek Brawl, and, like, something like The Protector is that Battle Creek Brawl had, like, a sense of humor. It had, like, jokes in it, and it was comedy. So it, it was, like, it was, like, you know, um, oh, that's the thing. Yeah, they heal each other. Okay, I guess I gotta take out the priest first. So Battle Creek Brawl, like, you know, was comedic, and it had jokes, and, you know, it, it, it was way more... Uh, you know, even though it was an American movie, like, it was, it still felt way more like an actual Jackie Chan film. 
in very stark comparison to the protector which is like it, it's so it, it like the best I, I could i could best describe that i would describe that movie as almost cut completely tone deaf because it's very obvious to me like uh, it, it was James Glickenhaus, I think, was the director. I might get be getting that wrong, but it's pretty obvious that he did not understand what like what Jackie Chan's appeal was in his like home country. Okay, yeah, I did the exact thing that I wasn't supposed to do. I bunched them up, but got, because I stupid because I thought that like I had a, had a little bit more time. Oh boy. Oh yeah, you might have noticed I had to put low away because I wanted to show off Diane. She hasn't been able to do yet. Uh, you know, she hasn't been able to do anything super, supremely impressive yet, so... Because, because this is such, such a fucking <laughs> tight, tight fit over here. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, she's, she's way at the back, god damn it. Oh man, yeah, Amon is, Amon, <laughs> Amon is really weak. Alright, but Ken can, uh... Oh no, no, not, not, not the skeleton. Dark Priest. Get the Dark Priest. I, I gotta, I gotta level it out. Like you know, I didn't. It, it was, it was definitely not a, ba not a good move not to give Ken the big land. But I decided that I wasn't gonna waste a lot of money buying those. Uh, I, I, I decided that I wasn't gonna waste a lot of money buying those, those, those um, lances. If, if it turns out like either a, because uh, yeah, that's the other thing about the promotions. So. At some point in the game, you're going to start getting weapons that your characters can use, and I, for the longest time, I did not understand why they couldn't use them until I realized that like, some weapons you can only use once you've promoted your uh, guys. All right, Diane's finally going to get to do something. So some weapons are actually not usable, and I think the first time I noticed is when you get the fire axe. So for the longest time, like none of my characters, I just kept carrying the fucking fire axe around, and I had, I didn't, I couldn't do anything with it. I was like, why Why does this weapon exist? And it turns out that, yeah, no. Okay, Dickert, oh, oh, no, no. Dickert's pretty low on health. Shit. Oh, no, and I think it was already Chris's turn. Shit. Okay, that's bad. Uh, that's real bad. Diane has, uh, yeah, Lo had a uh, healing seed, so Diane has the healing seed. So I gotta get, I gotta get Chris over there. Okay, a Amon can probably... No, no, pro Amon can probably finish finish this guy up. Yeah, the bird people are really weak against a lot of the enemies. Ay, yeah, it's not it's not his turn. It's not her turn yet. Where the heck is Chris, anyway? Uh, yeah, he, he's behind him. She's behind Hans. Okay. Let's hope that Dark Priest decides not to attack. <laughs> like, he does something stupid like heal himself. That would actually be pretty outstanding. Yeah, he did that. He, he heals himself. All right, excellent. Uh, that that probably saved our bacon there. But maybe Ken can finish the Dark Priest off. No, <laughs> wait a minute. What am I talking about? It, it, well, if he crits, yeah. But I, I have no idea what the chances for of a crit in this game really are. So, Jesus Christ! Look, are you kidding me? He's right there, you missed. Damn it, Dad. Like, this, this, this is why RPGs are so goddamn infuriating. Like, that it had to be like a fucking random throw of the dice that decide, like, oh no, you missed this time. Okay, here we go again. Putting Henri out here. I really hope I don't come to regret that. And I think Digger's gonna just stay put because I still haven't had a chance to heal him. Yeah. I'm trying to remember if there's something I forgot to talk about with the protector. The only guy who, the only thing that I, okay, th this is something that I did like about the fact I did. So I, I said I confirmed that I had the American version of the movie, and one of the really cool things about that was actually so that uh, a lot of the audio was live. So Jackie was actually acting in it in English, and that's good because the DVD box that I got doesn't have any Cantonese voice tracks. So it's all the English dubs, and some of the movies there. Uh, I know this from experience, are the exact same dubs that uh, were in those Hong Kong Legends uh, <laughs> sets that I talked about uh, in, actually, was it, I, yeah, it was the Mega Man X4, yeah, and I talked about in those, it, it really bothered me, uh, it used to bother me that 
it's very obviously like not Jackie talking in the English dub. Because I'm so because Jackie, you know, Jackie knows English and he can he could he could easily do the dialogue. Like he, obviously, you know, he has a very strong accent. But that comes with the territory. Did I seriously move Chris all the way down here? Did I just do that like absentmindedly? Jesus Christ. If I did, like I uh, yeah, that 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 is stupid. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so, but, you know, we, we, my sister Minna also got one of those, um, Jackie Jan box sets, and we actually watched with my, uh, brother-in-law, uh, for the very first time, he had never seen, uh, Armor of God, and we had to watch it with the English dub, but I have to say, like, uh, you know, okay, so the, 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 the acting in the English dub is definitely not very good, but it didn't bother me that much. So maybe like I've, I've maybe I've grown a little past that uh, hating hating on the English dub, but uh, but it was it was kind of a nice thing though to see or hear uh, Jackie actually like dub himself because it does take me out of the movie. A, it, it initially does take me a little bit out of the movie to know that it's not him, but you know doing that voice. But you know it's it's it wasn't like you know. It's tolerable, and, it's, and so in the protector, it's very clearly was Jackie because Jackie because they the the, the reason of course is that in the um, okay yes now I gotta fucking remember to heal Dickert <laughs> Jesus Christ yeah yeah the, so um, so that's the thing. Another thing is, like, there is an English dub of Armor of God where Jackie did dub himself, but that's the 80s dub. And I think the 80s dub, um, the reason they didn't reprint it for the Hong Kong Legends uh, was the fact that there were, that it was, um, I think, possibly censored a little bit, or at the very least had been edited enough that the voice track wouldn't have uh, fitted the, the whole original movie, because that was the whole deal with the uh, Hong Kong Legends sets, that they actually, like, you know... That they actually like uh, had the original uncut movie in its entirety. Yeah, that's the other thing. And so, in in in, uh, I already mentioned this, in, I think, in the previous episode. But yeah, in the American version of the uh, of the of the protector, like, there's a lot more nudity, and I that's a th that's where you can tell. So it was actually a very easy tell once I found out because I was thought that there might be more like subtle differences, and they're actually like big chunk. There were big segments uh, that they filmed for the Hong Kong version that aren't in the US version. But specifically, you can easily tell which version it is. If it has nudity in it, then it's the US version, and if it doesn't... Uh... And also, another thing is, like, they said that it was dubbed, but I don't, I'm not sure if they meant that it's dubbed into Cantonese in the Hong Kong version. I mean, that would be another obvious tell. Because I wasn't actually sure if the movie was in uh, going to be in English or... Uh, you know, um, English or, um, uh, 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 Cantonese. Like, that lizard man's gonna fucking kick him, kill his, kick his ass. Ah! Oh, Ken, <laughs> Ken keeps getting all the level ups. May ended up getting killed, like, the fir first, ended up being the first one to die. Or let's see, the lizard man. Oh, nice! Okay, yeah, this axe is really good. But yeah, that, that lizard man, that lizard man is also a tough cookie. Wait, let's do the freeze. But I keep using the freeze now because uh, we get to see a different spell. Oh yes, excellent, yes. And uh, Luke will probably fuck up the skeleton, hopefully. Okay, I'm wait. I'm waiting with anticipation, like to see what the lizard man's gonna do. Oh crap! But oh no, my cat. Ah, I just realized my characters are all bunched up. Okay, Dickert is luckily is a is a bit behind. Ah, Henri's gonna bite it. Yeah, somehow I knew this was gonna happen. Yeah, no. Oh god. You know what? I have the biggest deja vu because I think I've done the same mistake before that I've had Henri sitting next to another character and the other character bites it. Yeah, I think I must it must have been the, this exact same fucking scenario before. Guard leveled up also. That's nice. Nice for Gort, not so nice for uh, our guys. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of resurrecting in the in between of the episodes again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, but the uh, the good thing is once we finish this, we get the uh, we get we get the potion uh, to um, uh, yeah to to cure Zylo, and Zylo is gonna join our party next time. I, I am looking forward to that. I fucking love Zylo. E easily one of my favorite characters in this game. Okay, I guess uh, Diane can take a crack at the Dark Priest. Ooh, nice. That is good. That is good. I'm gonna attack the Master Mage just because I hope that he's gonna be dumb enough to actually like attack Ken and not use a spell. Oh, except uh, I might have fucked up and fucked that up. Okay, but now the priest is dead, so I can. That's good because th that's the annoying part because they're block. They're all blocking my path. All right, this might be... I took a break there. I just didn't want to take the risk that... Uh, we, we still had a couple of minutes in the recording left, but I wanted to make sure that... Oof. <laughs> that we would catch all this wonderful... This excellent gameplay of me, like, fucking up the menus again. All right. Okay, is it the mage's turn yet? No. But I think it might be after the skeleton's turn. Luke is, Luke is putting up a good fight, though. Okay, uh... I might, I might as well have Chris... Okay, now! Yeah, I knew it. He was gonna... Yeah. So Ken is probably gonna take a beating here. Ouch, yes. Ouch! Ouch! Okay, but nobody's dead. That's good. That That is at least good. Um, okay. So, Gort, I'll have you take a swing at the Master Mage. Wait, did the Master Mage... Wait, did he heal, or he did he... Uh... Oh god, I think he might have actually, like, he might be one of those guys who, like, regens health. <laughs> I gotta check, recheck the recording, I didn't, wasn't paying attention. Ah, anyway, he's gonna be dead in a minute. Now, now, now that all my guys are ganging up on him. Alright. Oh, he was a boss! Okay, yeah, that, okay, he was a boss character, that's why. <laughs> All right. Well, we got we got plenty of time left in the recording, so I guess I guess we will just I'll, I'll do I'll do this little story bit here. Moonstone. Yes, we have to take this to the alchemist, and then we will get Zylo in our party. Oh, I, I I was thinking that we could we could take this rope and shovel, but <laughs> no, apparently not. No, and that's kind of dumb when you when you uh, when you're allowed to roam the battle arena. After the battle, like, all the characters just get stuck in their posi respective positions, basically. Yeah. Okay, but let's, uh, let's talk to the Alchemist. Here's the Moonstone. Yeah, Lunar Dew, that's the thing that, uh, Xylo needs. Yes, excellent. Alright. We get the Lunar Dune... Dew, sorry. <laughs> okay. And, uh, let's go raise our, uh dead party members as well. Wait. No, nobody was poisoned because there weren't any zombies. Yeah, but just a bunch of our guys died. I might as well go buy the buy the weapons, actually. I might show, show off what's going on in the uh, the weapon situation. <laughs> yeah, that, damn Amon fucking died and didn't get any XP. And that's annoying because I, I really need to set, I really do need to sick those guys on enemies in order for them to get actual XP. But it's so frustrating because doing that, like, you take a huge risk. Okay. So, and I guess we get to show off this town. Uh, yeah, but I hate the layout of this town. This is, this is so confusing. Is this, yeah, this is the weapon shop. Okay. Uh, uh, well, this guy has the weapon shop. The guy on the right has the item shop. So, we'll buy... Power spears for all the uh, for uh, also for also for Ken and uh, was there somebody else who needed? No, I don't think we have any other lance users. Yeah, no, but we can sell. Uh, you can sell your weapons, obviously. So uh, um, yeah, we I can I I'll, I can also sell the spears. We don't need, we won't need those anymore. But yeah, the, 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 the yeah the frustrating thing is the freaking yeah I gotta remember although I gotta remember because <laughs> it's happened to me multiple times before that uh, let me see did I, did I leave somebody with an extra weapon 
Yeah, no. Oh, uh, I didn't sell Hans's uh, wooden arrows. Uh, that, he's had those for a while. I, I, I completely, that completely slipped my mind. Let me check. Uh, wait, let me check. Can, can the bird guys use axes? I don't think they can, but I want to make sure. I just want to make quickly sure. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it says EQ next to them if they, if they can. So this Angel Wing, this is the same thing as the Egress spell, uh, so uh, we're, we, won't, we won't be needing that. Um, so, hey, let's go talk to Xylo now. We get it, we get it, we, yeah, we got the first, first look at Xylo. Alright, uh, what do you want? Leave me alone or I'll tear you apart. Uh... Dickert poured Lunar Dew into Silo's mouth. Yuck, awful taste, but I'm myself again. What a relief. I can never repay you for this, but I'm going to join the Shining Force. Yay, Xylo's in the Shining Force now. Cool. Beans. Yeah, and Xylo doesn't use weapons, but <clears throat> he doesn't need them. He's, he's kind of like Gong, but like doesn't suck. Okay, but that ends this episode of the combat only, uh, well, a little bit more than the combat this time, uh, episode of Shining Force. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.